controller. To do so, open pick edit. And in pick edit, we have two options to deal with ILDA files. So the most common use for using for, for dealing with ILDA files is a static ILDA file, but there's also the option to use animated ILDA files and import them to show controller. This can even be a whole show. So a whole show as ILDA file can be imported. To do so, we open the animator. You see, this is the, the film, the film icon here. And now we have a library. This is a, uh, some sort of library, which is empty. So what we do is we click on one of these empty fields. It can also be some uh, some some field back uh, further further back. Um, you see, there is a lot of space uh, because uh, we always when we import everything that is imported goes into one of these fields. So um, I select field one in this case, and then I hit file import ILDA. And then I select the ILDA file I want to import. In this case, it's that file. Double click and I get the animation. So what you see is that this ILDA animation consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frames. So it's an eight frame animation. So it's like, like a stop motion movie. Basically, we have frames that create the animation. So in this case, we have an eight frame animation. Now, if we want to use that animation in show controller, it's pretty simple to export it in the compatible format. We just select uh, the first one. So we have, we're sure this is number one is the first one. There is none on zero. So what we want to do is we specify from frame one to frame eight, we want to export as animation. Animation, save from until two as. And now we can select which kind of, um, I'll just make a new, a new folder in this case. I just put a new folder, let's say uh, custom. And this is already, you see it's already in the any folder of, uh, show controller so this is where the animations go and I just call this test any animation and save it and now we can recall this animation in real time or also in uh, in uh, live, depending on what you want to use. I just use real time now, because it's the more powerful part of show controller. Now we can switch to any and select custom, the folder I just created. And there we go, here is the animation. We can just use it, drag it to the timeline, and that's it. And you can do the same thing with a complete show as well. So you can import a complete show as ILDA file and store it and then just drag and drop it to the new timeline. It's that easy. A single frame, so not, not a multi-frame, but a single frame, it's the same thing. So you just, select any kind of free space you hit import and you can import any ilda file there and then you can select just one of these frames and select save as pick for example and we save that as pick and not in the any folder but in the pick folder so we find it better later also to custom and I just make a test pick. And if we switch over to the real time, we just select pick custom. And there we go. And it's just a static frame. So it's just one frame. And this one is the animation. So you see, it's pretty easy to just get Build the files into show controller and use it wherever you want to use it.